In this video, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting integers. There are several ways we can think about adding and subtracting integers. I'm going to show you three, and I bet one of them will work well for you. The first method we can use is just a good old-fashioned number line. Ugh, that's not a very straight line, but you know what I mean. Well, let's uh, throw in this first one that we're looking at, negative 5 plus 2. So on the number line, we would be at negative 5 to start so negative 5 way over here and then we're adding 2 so that means we move two spots to the right on the number line so we're right here we go 1 2 and now we're at negative 3 that's one way to think of it so negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 another way we could think about it is in terms of money. Let's say for example you are five dollars in the hole, you owed someone five dollars and you paid them two. Where would you be at? Well, if you owe someone five dollars, you give them two, you still owe them. How much do you still owe them? Three dollars. You're still three dollars in the hole. So we can think about it in terms of money is another way we can think about adding and subtracting integers. Finally, a third way, which is kind of similar to the number line, but sometimes uh, is a bit different uh, visualization, is you can think about it above and below ground. So, for example, if we are 5 below ground, we're here at negative 5, and then we're adding 2, means we're throwing dirt in here, so that we're up 2, well, now we're at negative 3. It just kind of makes sense. So let's go ahead and we've got those three methods. We can use those all, any of which would make sense to you, uh, to solve these um, situations. So let's have a look at this one. 2 plus negative 7. Now adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. So I could also write this as 2 minus 7 if that makes more you more comfortable. Some people like to think about it in terms of adding a negative. Some people like to think in terms of subtraction. I'm kind of a subtraction person myself. So, for example, in this one we have 2 and then we're subtracting 7. Think about it in terms of money. If you have $2, you're trying to spend 7, well, you're going to end up at $5 in the hole. Or you're $5 behind in terms of the the ground analogy you're at two above ground you dig down seven now you're at negative five and it also works on the number line if you want to do it that way this next one we've got negative four plus negative nine two negatives sometimes people want to make this a positive let me start by saying when you add and subtract you do not get two negatives do not make a positive that would be multiplying and dividing. When we're adding two negatives, think about it in this way. If you're if you owe one friend four dollars, you owe another friend nine dollars, you're not suddenly out of the out of debt. You still owe people and you owe people whatever the total of that would be. So for four dollars in the hole and nine dollars in the hole, we're a total of thirteen dollars in the hole. So negative thirteen. Be careful on those that you don't think that that's positive. The two negatives when you're adding definitely don't make a positive. How about this one? Negative 15 minus 4. Okay, in this case, we are 15 in the hole, and then we're going down 4 more. I think the ground analogy is a good one in this one. For 15 down, we're going down 4 more. Now we're at negative 19. How about this one? Well, when we have minus a negative that's the same thing as subtract or excuse me that's the same thing as adding minus a negative is the same thing as adding so negative 3 minus negative 7 is the same thing as plus 7 and you can kinda see it here if you want to write it like this you can just go and make that into a plus sign so negative 3 plus 7 okay so we're 3 in the hole we have 7 now we're at positive 4. Next one, 5 minus 9. If we've got 5, we're taking away 9. We are 4 behind, or minus 4. 
Up here we've got 21 minus a negative 5. Remember when we minus a negative, that's the same as adding. So 21 plus 5, 21 plus 5 would be 26. Now, don't get thrown off when we add in a few more numbers. Remember the order of operations tells us that we need to go from left to right, so we can do that. And in this case, we've got 13 minus a negative 4. Well, minus a negative, remember, again, is plus. So 13 plus 4 plus 5. Okay, so then 13 plus 4 would be 17 plus 5. 17 plus 5, and then 17 plus 5, well, that would be 22. And a way, quick way that you can think about that is how many from 17 do I need in order to get to 23? So if I take 3 off the 5, I have 2 left, so it's 22. It's a quick little shortcut in terms of adding numbers like that. All right, this last one, we've got negative 15 plus negative 2 minus 8. All right. So at negative 15, so we can think of it in terms of 15 in the whole, excuse me, we're adding a negative 2, so that means we're going two more down. So we're now we're at negative 17, so we're at negative 17 minus 8, we're 17 in the whole, we're going 8 more in the whole, so now we're at 25 in the whole, negative 25. All right, so adding and subtracting integers you'll be a pro at it before long. Um, you can use, think of it in three different ways, and maybe there's some others too, but I like these three. You can use the number line and move around on there. You can think of it in terms of money. I think that one makes a lot of sense because if you owe someone and you owe another person, those two negatives, those two debts, and you add those together, you're still in debt. Um, or you can think about it in terms of being above and below ground where you're at. So I hope uh, one of those methods works well for you and I hope this video is helpful. Good luck!